Guys, uh, knowing that your starting quarterback was out and you might have to rely on defense a good bit today, can you talk about doing that and getting the shutout today? I'll go first. Um, I challenged some of the guys on the D-line. I know we had to be the most physical in the trenches. I know we had to stop the run because I know they relied on the heavy. That was going to force them to pass, and we handled the pass well. I'm just proud of how the guys stepped up and played today. Um, it was it was just something that we knew what was what was going to be happening coming in. We knew it was going to be a chance that Ty was going to be up, and we had a feeling that it was going to be uh, Connor Nolan to be starting. So we just knew we had to step up our play and, and amp up everybody along, not just the D-line, but everybody behind us also. You know, but just what was your offensive mindset knowing that, that Connor was going to start and, and I guess that, that Colton Jackson wouldn't be a left tackle as well? Well, we, we had a heavy run game plan going in, uh, you know, making sure that Connor's comfortable back there and not put him in any bad situation, trying to stay ahead of the chains and uh, not get in any third and long situations. Um, but, you know, we had, all, we had all the confidence in Connor. You know, he can run the ball real well as well. So we, we put him in situations to run the ball. Um, I think he did a tremendous job at making sure we're all on the same page uh, whenever we had checks and made sure – we check from pass to run or run to pass and, and whatnot, uh, but we definitely relied on the run game, and, and I'm happy my guys stepped up and, and played well. You all talking about Colton and how did Dalton Wagner do? You know, I, he did phenomenal. It was kind of right today that we kind of made that change. Uh, Dalton didn't really know until game time. Uh, so I'm proud of him. Uh, he's played at the right right tackle spot a lot, and that's where he's practiced most of spring and summer and through camp and stuff. So I think left is a little uh, new to him still, uh, and I think he came in with a great attitude, a great mindset, and he, and he played really well. So, so I think there were a lot of backups in that last uh, defensive series, but, but you were in there and you got the sack. How important was it to you guys to get the shot? Because you were going to win the game. And what did what, you see on that play? And how, just how good it feel sack? And um, Coach Kyle just told me uh, he needed me inside to pass rush. So I knew when I had to come in, I knew I needed to get some type of pressure on the quarterback. So it was, it was just, it was, it was a couple backups in, but it was like we needed to go ahead and get off the field and try to complete the shutout. It was at a time we needed it. And, and to remind you, the Crip Hall Award, you're outstanding senior on homecoming. How, do, how does it feel to win that? Uh, I feel honored. I know a lot of greats in the past have got it. Just to you know, win and have my name mentioned is an honor. And uh, I come in every week, you know, push myself, the other guys, and, you know, it paid off this weekend. I don't think a better group deserves to win today. So. And for both of you defensive guys, I know you played great offenses the last two weeks, but gave up a lot of yards and points. How good did it feel to get a shutout, especially coming off those those games? Uh, it was big. Uh, I think it was a, a definitely a momentum for our defense heading into next week, SEC play. And I just I'm going to again challenge our guys to carry this wave and keep it up. You know. Yeah, you got to carry the momentum into next week. Um, we find we finally got another win on our on our season, so it's time to just try to keep it rolling. So Armand, when you guys, when one of you gets a sack or a TFL, how much does the rest of the defensive line feed off that, and how much is it contagious? Uh, I think it's big. You know, it's like they look up to us, you know, and they want to get out there and make plays. And they come to us asking, you know, how can we do this? How can we do that? You know, and that that makes them want to go harder. So I think it's big. Yeah, I think it, I think it's definitely it'd it be a turning point, especially on the D line, man. Um, we are competitive. We all want to make plays. So. We, we understand once, once we out there, we need to make a play, and we just have a sense of urgency. And once one, one person make a play, it makes somebody else want to make one. Armand, right, just with your past where you played so little these last four years, just how much has this whole season meant to you, and then especially a game like today? Uh, uh, well, I don't think words can really describe it. Uh, in my opinion, you know, you got to believe in yourself before anybody else believes in you. You got to put in the work. And I stuck it out, you know, I continue to keep my head down, work, and it's paying off. So it's like a dream every day I wake up, you know, but, you know, got to keep learning, got to keep getting better. Yeah, that's something for it. You yelled, uh, what, what was Connor like in the huddle? And especially after you threw that pick on the first series, how how do you respond to that? Um, for a young guy to be that fresh and enthousi enthusiastic about getting back out on the field, that's it's, it's extremely impressive. You know, he never he never froze up or gave you the the deer in headlights and didn't say anything. You know, he was comfortable with himself. He's like, well, I threw a pick, but next play, and he was he was 
he was his mood was still up. He was enthusiastic about the game, and it was just it was really good to feel that hey, you made a mistake, but he understands that it's you, you can't let that roll over. Uh, and that was awesome to see from a freshman uh, like him. And then, and then for Sosa Armani, I mean, you guys have to go in there sudden change, you know, turnover, and then you force a field goal, and then they miss it. Just well, what, what was the mindset on that series, and then how good did that feel they didn't score, you know? I think we knew we had the one of our defensive goals is hold the field goals, limit big plays, and make a stand whenever you can. And for us to put it on our backs, you know, to help the offense, you know, I, I thought it was big. Um, it is always talked about putting a fire out on sudden change, on um, watch for shots and, and just and just whatever you do, hold try to hold them to a field goal. And sometimes they miss their field goal, so you can hold them to three or zero points. Just make sure they don't get seven. I said one more for y'all three could chime in. You hadn't gotten a win in a long time. Just how good it feel to win again after some tough losses, and and you know the offense kept scoring, and the defense, you know, you guys pulled away. No, no comebacks this time. Oh yeah, it, it definitely felt great, man, to finally get a to again get another one on our on our win column. So again, we're gonna just try to keep moving forward. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy this tonight, and then we get in tomorrow. See what see what we did right, see what we did wrong, and just go ahead and move forward to Vanderbilt. Yeah, I think we played. Uh, I think we played fundamentally great. Uh, our, our defense was lights out the whole game. You know, gave up a couple of big plays, but then quickly, like they said, um, uh, shut out the fire. Like turn it out. You know, it's. I think as a team, we played a really uh, well-rounded game, and I think it's it's good for guys to be able to see that. We don't like our starting quarterback got hurt. And we got a freshman in, and then everyone rallied around him. And we can see that even if the leader of our offense is down, everyone can still rally around, and we can still win games. And for defense to shut him out like that, that was that was tremendous. And I, that's that was awesome. It was a sack party for the defense, and it was just great to see. Uh, they've been playing loud side these past couple of weeks, and, and had a. It was finally good. It was good to get a break right now, you know. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy for our guys and. We're, we're, we can feel we have a feeling that we can all we can still win games and we can we don't have to blow up a lead uh, and I'm I'm happy for it. Yeah, like I said, uh, I don't think another team deserves this win more than us. We continue to fight each week, no matter how close, no matter how better we get. We keep working, and like Coach Moore said, it was gonna take something deep down in us to get this win and stay focused. And I think that's what we did today. Yeah, what was Chief looking like in there? What did he do? Did he smile? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was smiling, man. He, he didn't do none of the crazy, crazier antics he done did before, but he definitely smiled. He just came up telling us that he appreciated us. Um, he kept he kept it real simple. He was smiling, but you could tell he was joyful. You know, you know, he wasn't he wasn't just rowdy, but he was joyful. Yeah, this is for our mind. And so, did you guys know it was it was uh, Chief's birthday this week? And did you guys know that? I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> I guess he didn't make a big deal about it. Yeah, he didn't um, make a big deal about um, that one. Is that kind of, you kind of, kind of gave him a late birthday present or, with a shutout? Or? Uh, yeah, most definitely. And then we uh, we also had a couple guys come from Tulsa, man. Um, I had a lady trainer, uh, one, of our, one of our strength coaches. They both came from Tulsa. So... To have them over here, you, I know it meant we, we we know it meant a lot to them. So we was trying to just make sure we could get that win for them also. No, no, Chief's birthday. That Man, I did not know that. No, nah, I'm gonna have to ask him about that. Yeah, he, I don't think he disclosed that one. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank you.